The first section to chapter 8 is 8.1, which is systems of linear equations and graphs. So this chapter goes through, basically, you know how to graph a line. Now what they do is they, they uh, ask you to graph two lines and find out where they intersect. And that point of intersection is, is what's called the solution to the system. So the solution to the system equations, just what I said, is the point where the two lines intersect. So if I have two lines here, first one I'm going to graph in blue. It's got a y-intercept of negative 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4. It's got a slope of 1 third, so up 1 over 3, up 1 over 3, up 1 over 3, or down 1 back 3, down 1 back 3, and down 1 back 3. Enough points that you have. I mean, you don't have to put that many points. That's a lot of points. Um, just enough that you can draw a straight line. Usually three points is fine. So there's my blue line. And the next line that I have is my purple line, which is has a y-intercept of 3, 1, 2, 3, and has a slope of negative 2, and remember you can always put that over 1. So negative 2 over 1. So down 2 over 1, down 2 over, notice this has a negative slope, down 2 over. Now, this is probably what will happen when you're graphing your lines. You will get to a point that you put, and it'll... Um, It'll be on both your both the lines. So in this case, both the blue line and the purple line, down two over one, and so on. So that when I draw my line, my purple line, I can see and I know right away what the solution is to this system. The solution is where both the lines intersect, and that was at that point there. What is that point? Well, it's one two three, comma one two three. So three comma negative three is the solution. Right, so the solution is three comma negative three. And that is my solution because that's where the two lines intersect. Next question, for the system two x plus y equals two and x minus y equals seven, check if each point is a solution. So in this case, what you have to do is you have to plug each point in for x and for y into both equations and see if they work out. So for the first one, I have two, my x value is 1 plus my y value, which is 0, equals 2. Is this true? Uh, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 0. Yep, yeah. so 2 equals 2 checks out. But we have to check both lines because it can't just be on one line. That just tells me that that point is on that line. But is this point also on this line? Let's check it out. So we have the x value is 1. My y value is 0 equals 7. Well, I can see right away 1 minus 0 does not equal 7, so my answer is no. Next set, 3 comma negative 4. So I plug it in, I have 2, my x value is 3, my y value is negative 4. So 2 times 3 plus negative 4 equals 2. We're trying to check, does that actually work? These should all have question marks. And then we have 6 plus negative 4 is just minus 4 equals 2. Yes, 2 does equal 2. That one works out. But we have to check in both, remember. So x is 3, so I have 3 minus my y, which is negative 4. Be careful with the minus and the negative sign. Equals 7. 3 minus negative. That means plus. So 3 plus 4 equals 7. Yep. So yes. And that's basically all you have to do. Plug the point into the equations and check to see does it make does it work for both equations. If it does, then you say yes. If it works for one of them but not the other, you say no. If it doesn't work for either, you still say no. Last example. Basically what I wanted you to do is to read through the example 4 on page 424. And if you look at example 4, it goes through the whole thing about the sky ride and the um, and the two trains. Or the two the two um, I don't know what you call those, like trams. And it basically says that here is where they meet. Here is their meeting point if you look at the graph. And what you, what, what I'm going to ask you to do for most of these chapters, well for chapter 8, mostly is not graph these because you're going to get strange values like this, like 3.08 um, and 607.69. What I want you to be able to do though is I want you to be able to interpret these because on the provincial exam you're not going to be asked to graph huge graphs like this where the um, scale is is quite big but they do need you to be able to recognize and understand what that intersection point means well if I know that my x value is along the bottom 
That's my first, and that's time. And my second is my y value, which is along the, the uh, vertical axis, and that's my altitude. This means that the two trams, the two trams meet at, and I think it's in minutes, so at 3.08 minutes, at an altitude of six, whoops, 607.69, and we have to look at the scale of the graph. The graph is in meters. So that's in meters, and time is in minutes. Okay, so it's basically interpreting the graph and saying, okay, well, this is one tram, that's the other tram. They both meet at that point. That, that's what the point means, is that that's where they meet. And where they meet is at 3.08 minutes at an altitude of 607.69 meters. So just make sure that you are able to interpret graphs.